Thanks. Welcome back everyone almost to 1115 on this Thursday morning. Now here's the deal. If you're heading out in the next few minutes, may want to take the rain jacket, may want the umbrella. If you're worried about hail damage, may want to stay put for a few more hours. Here's what we've got on satellite and radar right now. Just a little bit of rain stretching from about Stockton down to Joplin and into the Anderson area. Notice this isn't a ton, very light in nature. Now, as this cold front continues to push to the east, I think we're going to see a much better chance of rain than what we're currently seeing. Most places dry at this point. Branson, one of them. You can see traffic. Well, looks like it's almost tourist season, doesn't it? <laughs> as we are looking at 72 degrees in Branson. Definitely Definitely cooler out to the west where that cold front has moved through. Chinook, Kansas at 65, Emporia at 60, we're at 71 in Joplin, 70 in Springfield, and 73 in Camdenton. You know, we saw the rain. Where exactly is that cold front at? Joplin starting to see shifting winds. They're going to be in from the north later tonight, but right now still into the south. In Springfield, Branson. We did have a wind advisory early this morning. That was allowed to expire at about 8 a.m. and they've not done anything. Winds are much more calm now than they were overnight and into the early morning hours. Looking towards future cast as that cold front continues to push through our area, you can see that line kind of blossoming a little bit as it gets closer to Springfield. This shows at 2 p.m. Some stronger storms kind of embedded in that down into Fayetteville, maybe seeing a little bit more of a oomph to that storm, maybe a little bit more hail as it continues to push off to the east. This is early dinner time after school, early evening, late afternoon, we're starting to see heavier rain, stronger storms associated with this down into Arkansas. So 4.30 p.m., a few little embedded showers and storms as that pushes off to the east. And then as we progress into the evening, by 6.30, most of it's completely out of the Ozarks, maybe just a few areas of showers and storms lingering in northern Arkansas. That will continue for... 6.30 p.m. to 7.30, I would say, and then we should see calm conditions as we head overnight tonight. Severe threats. The good news is tornado threat is very low. It looks like it's the greatest into Arkansas. As we can see, our eastern counties under that slight risk for severe weather. Large hail, about quarter size, so not anything like we saw over Saturday. High winds at about 60 miles per hour, and that flooding risk is very, very low. For today, highs about 72 degrees, not bad. We're almost there already. South winds will start shifting in from the north because of that cold front. Overnight temperatures, mid 40s for our low with those northerly winds. We're not thinking about freeze conditions yet, but as we progress into the weekend, you're going to have to protect some of those plants. I already bought some ferns and I'm going to have to bring them inside Saturday night into Sunday morning as we could see a frost likely possibly a light freeze across the area. Seven day forecast. Oh, not quite as spring like as I was hoping for. We're going to see temperatures back into the 50s and 60s as we head into next week with those overnight lows in the 30s and 40s before the rain returns midweek next week. It'll be kind of cloudy and gloomy and more spring like than what we have been seeing with the rain. Jesse.